All right, let's get the ball ready because where are they? They're here somewhere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. Go to sleep. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Icarus. We are now continuing our adventure. And last time we got some extensions built, including this little bit here. And you can tell I've been a little busy by adding some planks in here. I want to get some more stone in here and we can see a little bit of damage right there from when the storm happened last time. And well, you can even see it inside, in fact. So last time we, we kind of extended the base a little bit. We got a bit of a storage room going on back here. And maybe I should put a light on right here, right? Do I have a torch? Can I quickly make a torch? Crafting. Um, one torch. Craft. Let's quickly make that and put that into our L uh, spot. Right. I might as well make a second one because I always run out in the unnecessary times. So now that we've got that, let's quickly sort our own intro. It looks like we need some oxygen as well, which I've got some oxide right there. But I would like to try to get to level 10 today because if we do, we unlock tier 2. And I have been saving some points here. Uh, and I do want to try and get the oxide dissolver and the oxygen bladder. Because all I need to do is put oxide and sulfur into there. And it will fill the oxygen bladder. And that will go into this slot right here. And then doing so, we can survive longer without grabbing oxide and all that kind of stuff. But it also means we can unlock the stone furnace and start putting some iron and copper in there. So we can start making our next tier uh, like equipment. Like iron axe and iron pickaxe and steel. Obviously, we need to get to level 20. But I do want to try and get to 15 as soon as possible so we can start uh, working on the next part of our base where we can upgrade it from wood to stone via the masonry bench. But we need to be level 15 for that and we're going to need a lot of stone, a lot of iron, a lot of iron nails and we definitely want to upgrade this. Um, so I want to, today, it's just basically level up. I want to maybe look around and adventure a little bit. Um, I do want to get more oxide. I just want to get to level 10. How far? We've just got to level 9. Uh, because obviously I've done a little bit off camera, uh, which was basically grab some logs, which is for these trees around here. Just so I can kind of prepare myself for today's video. And I want to get a bit more rock done as well. So we do have a like a green storm incoming. So we'll, we should be fine for the next couple of days. So let's quickly repair all my tools if I can down here. Uh, and quickly get ready for today's adventure. So let's repair all them. Quickly get a drink of water. Hopefully you're all having an awesome week as well. I'm feeling a lot better now, by the way. Like you probably would have noticed the lack of videos that's happened this last new enough week. That is because I've been uh, I've been pretty sick. Uh, I've been live streaming. However, I have had really bad sniffles and constant coughing fits and all that kind of stuff. So I am on the mend. I am all good. We are back to daily videos and all, I won't say daily videos because we're not doing daily videos anymore. But uh, if you are watching this right now, you'll see a announcement coming up in the next couple of days where I'm going to be announcing a brand new channel I'm going to be starting because there's a lot of you that are missing the long form content which is let's plays so you want to see me do story campaigns you want to see me all that kind of stuff I was doing that literally through January and February this year but through analytics and research and just how things were panning out it wasn't seemed to be working on this channel on this channel you want to see more survival you want to see more factory stuff and all that kind of things right so I will be creating a, another YouTube channel uh, so keep an, 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 an eye well keep an eye out for that announcement and I will, uh, if you want to go and watch that sort of stuff, be my guest and we'll continue with some of the Let's Plays that we have already been started uh, over on that channel. So let me grab some more rock and I think we're right for, for food. Yeah, I've got some, let's consume a stack right there. Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple of talents I want to do as well. We've got no solo talents, but I'm thinking maybe increasing the weight capacity because we are going to be coming up to iron and that's going to be carrying a lot. I would maybe like to maybe create an outpost um, near a cave so we can start smelting some of the iron there because it's uh, iron ingots actually weigh a lot more well a lot less sorry than the actual iron ore itself so iron ingots weigh less than the iron ore yeah okay I, I hopefully i got that the right time probably not i'm a spoon you know i'm a spoon all right so if you don't know i actually stream this on wednesdays with a couple of streamer friends of mine um which is uh miss max fox and jojo says brie and totally clips join us every now and again i'll put the links in the description if you uh, want to go and check out their channels uh, and you can see different perspective it's not related to this series. It's just a bit, uh, bit extra. Um, but one thing I am missing from that uh, compared to this one is the ability in the tech tree, um, which is in survival resources. I think it is 
This one. Lucky Strike. You have 1% to instantly break a mineral or ore deposits while mining. And that one is a lifesaver because I could just hit this once and bam, the whole rock goes and I instantly get all the rock in my inventory. Sorry, I'm, I've, 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 I'm still kind of like coughing a little bit. So if you ever hear me like cut out, it's because I'm like in mid cough. So I apologize and I'm trying to cut it out the edit. Um, But yeah, like I said, I'm on the mend. And just thank you for all the support. I love you all. You know I do. And uh, I'm just looking forward to just getting into some more videos. Uh, hopefully you're all enjoying the Icarus videos and the, the other stuff that we're releasing. Uh, I want to get Green Hell into the this channel at some point this year. Uh, and it's going to be a good time. So uh, keep an eye out for that because we're doing the forest and we're kind of doing uh, Planet Crafter right now. So and satisfactory, of course. We can't forget about that. Okay, so I'm over encumbered. So let's kind of head over here a little bit. I've put turned my light on a little bit because some people have said, like, why have you got your light on during the day? And it's just so I can kind of see during here, right? Because how dark it is right there. Let's kind of quickly go into our inventory here uh, and craft a couple of storm piles as max, m m m m much as we can. And uh, yeah, so let's get these built. So I'm going to build two of these. So let's quickly deploy that. Hopefully I can squeeze that in there. I can. Beautiful. Let's get our second one here and deploy this one as well. Um, put you there. Bada bing, bada bosh. Let's get a couple more rocks and we'll fill that up. We'll start with this one. You can kind of see where I've already been taking chunks out of this one and running backward and forward with the supplies we've got. So I'm just working my way through this and I totally forgot how bad your stamina is when you're like, you know, you're first starting off. And I think at some point, maybe in the first, well, as soon as I get to level 10 and between 10 and level 15 before I get the masonry stuff, I'm thinking about maybe unlocking the crop uh, uh, plants and maybe getting like a watermelon farm down because, you know, my brand is all about watermelons. You might have seen the panel at the top of the YouTube channel, um, but my brand is all about watermelons. Uh, it's my little mascot over there. Um, so um, I'm thinking about getting that done because they, they give you some really good stamina as well. So that might be useful just to kind of like farm them up. And we have the new salt maker as well now, the salt machine. Ooh. So for those that don't know, this got added. Where was it? Is it tier two? I think it's tier two. Um, let me zoom along here real quick. Where is it? There it is. Salting station. So we've got some new ores about, which are near enough in the same place as oxide and sulfur and silica. And this actually can be used to preserve food using salt. So we just put our food in there. We put some salt in there. You can kind of see I've already got some salt here. Did I mention this in the last video? I think I might have done. I think I might have done. But yeah, you put the salt with the, the food and then um, it preserves it longer. And it just basically doubles the, uh, the, the duration of its lifespan of a piece of meat or... But who doesn't like a good seasoned steak? Or, you know, you've, you've got to do it. Put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt's the way it's got to be done. Are you really a steak eater if you don't season it? <laughs> oh, God, there's a wolf heading on my way back to my house. Hey, be a nice little bit of meat. It's going nighttime as well, so I'll do what I can with the daylight before we can... But before we have to sleep and you guys have, like, zero visibility. And take that. Hatchet. From what I, I've always believed the hatchet is the best to grab bone, but if there's anything you guys recommend, let me know in the comments. Oh, hello. I'm surprised you didn't see me, to be honest. I am playing on normal difficulty, and I have literally just started a solo run of this on stream, and, I'm just, and I've started a hardcore, and I feel like with the hardcore, it's a lot more... How do I put it? Without being... A spoon. It's going to be more difficult. I was going to say difficult, but that you just kind of expected, right? I, I can't put more, my finger on it. Anyway, let's craft some more uh, stone blocks here. We can only grab the one. I've only got one stack right yet. Well, near enough two stacks. And then we can deploy that and put that slide. Oh, come on. Be nice to me. Is it that other one on the left? I think it's that one. Can I get this and push it? I feel like this one's encroaching onto the other one. I can't squeeze it. It's going to annoy me. I'm going to have to make another one, aren't I? Come on. Squeeze in there. I don't think we can. Oh, well, I need more stone, to be honest, than logs. So maybe I'll get rid of a few of these logs and put it into the storage room in here. But it is currently on... It's 20 to 7 in game time right now. So let's let's take a sleep. Let's skip till morning. Uh, get a nice sippy drink of water uh, like that. And quickly put our food that we just got from them wolves onto the fireplace. So let's... Uh, where's my food I just got? I'm sure I got... Oh, there it is. Miss me being a blind. Being a bloody blind. I've got a lot of sticks as well. Let's kind of sort this out here. So we've got... This is kind of like miscellaneous. Here's my stick and wood. And then here's my bone leather and fiber. So let's kind of put that into there. And the wood in there as well. I'm going to keep the rocks on me because obviously I need to repair my... Oh, why have I got a leaf on me right now? A campfire as well. 
I think that was just when I was adventuring. But obviously, I want to upgrade all this, and uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the uh, the adventure. So if you are, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. And I've got the hiccups. <laughs> I hear a wolf. You're running from something, and I'm going to get a bit more mining done. There he is. He's, he's hiding behind the rock. I can see his, his tag. Bam. Go to sleep, puppy. I'm sorry. Let's grab your pelt, and then we'll chop up your bones as well. Level 27 as well. We are using bone arrows. I feel like when you actually get bone arrows, not bow and arrows, bone arrows. Oh my god, there's another wolf. Um, you actually get more chance of doing crit hits. So I've kind of noticed that. Okay, let's skin you as well. We're getting a lot of meat at least. A lot of meat, a lot of bone. And to be honest, we kind of need a lot of bone because later down the line when we start needing epoxy, eh, it's probably best to use the bones, I guess. And, uh, oh. Oh god, another one. I missed him. Oh, he wasn't aggroed onto us, but... Hey, brother. What's up? I'm sorry. As a dog lover, I, I, I know I don't want to do this, but I've got to remember sometimes I'm playing virtual reality. I thought I heard another one. My bones, uh, my knife is just broken. It's because I've got a couple of stones. I would like to possibly upgrade these to um, bone stuff, maybe, but I, I, th I think I might have to skip that and go straight to the iron one. Might be worth it. But I do need to do a cave run at some point. Maybe we do that today. We're extremely close to level 10 as well. We're literally about 90%. I said 95%. There'll be somebody in the comment going, no, that's 96.87%. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where that bar is up there because I know the things. <laughs> we are super close. We're getting about 30 to 60 XP. For each one. I'm thinking about maybe getting some fish as well. That'd be nice. Good good little salmon. Mashed potatoes and like a white wine oh, white wine cream sauce. Ooh. A little, little little bit of asparagus. There we go. Level up. We are now level 10. We, let's get back inside because we've just unlocked the new stuff. Which I kind of want to play around with. We've got the new crafting bench. We can just see that there. Uh, let's quickly craft our, our, our rocks here. Can I only make the one? No, I can make another one as well, but I don't think I'll put it anywhere. Oh, I, I can't make it anywhere. No, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm just rambling. Oh, can I put this up here? Hello? Maybe I can squeeze this in here, you know? Come on. Be nice to me. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Just allow soft clipping. That's all we need. Can I stand up here and place it? I can. There we go. That'll do. Anyway, let's go inside. Get nice and crusty by the fire and see what we can unlock. So we do have eight points available. We are going to move to tier two. We're going to start right from the beginning. And the first thing I want to unlock is crafting bench. You have to unlock the crafting bench because that's where a lot of these stuff are going to be getting made from. We definitely want the stone furnace. So the small stone furnace is going to go into the anvil. And then I want to unlock the iron axe and iron pickaxe. And for now, that means we can now make these. If we put this down, we put the anvil down and then the iron. And then we can make these via the anvil once we place them down. But to make the anvil, we need 40 iron ingots. But we're going to need the stone furnace down first. So we're going to need a oxide dissolver and an oxygen bladder. Because we are going to be exploring a little bit because we're going to be leaving home a little bit and looking for some caves. And in doing so, we're going to need to you know, keep oxygenated. If that's... That is a word, right? That's a word. I think I might pick up the water skin, maybe, um, for now. Um, just so I, if I am cave diving and I am going to need some water, I think I might do that. Even though we are close to water, so they would require leather, bone and fibre. Um, we don't need any rain reservoirs right now because we're literally on a lakeside, so um, we're good for that. Iron knife, I would like that, but I've only got one point available. Um, a fireplace, not intentionally needed right now. A good longbow might be decent, but again, oh, there's the wood crop plot as well. A wood crop plot might be nice to, to kind of put down, but I think I might focus on maybe the farming for maybe like next episode or something. Herbalism bench as well. Um, I know I could rush straight to tier four and all that kind of stuff with leveling by picking up the main essentials here, but I want to take this series slow and I want to progress uh, through most of this because, you know, we can unlock all of these through the levels. It's just a time talents we can once we reach level 50 we can't unlock all of these where the tech trees we can we can unlock everything into your one two three and four so i think i'm going to pick up the water skin so let's just do that let's just lock that in and seal it and we've got some talents to spend haven't we as well um I'm, i would like to maybe increase my weight capacity uh and maybe increase yield from iron deposits i would like to make my way down to that as well that would be quite nice wait i don't think i can oh, i need more i need one more skill point to go in here so maybe we'll unlock that one next oh i'm gonna need oh i need gonna need that one aren't i because there's no patch way across there never mind i messed up there wait can i respect hold on can i respect refresh talents no i already i already confirmed it 
Balls. All right, solo. Um, these these gives us a big one because obviously I'm playing solo anyway, so we get like massive buffs on these ones. Increase melee damage. Increase our health. Increase movement speed. Or do we want to increase? We've already increased the stamina. Increase wood from felling. All right. Decreased oxygen, hunger, and thirst costs. That's going to give us um, three of them. It's going to be minus ten for all three. Hmm. Interesting. I don't feel like we're in. It's, it's in essential. Maybe the the more income from wood might be nice. Maybe from the movement speed. Help me get around a little quicker. Increase melee. Ah. Yeah, let's get the movement speed. Why not? We are active on that. Okay, cool. So now that we've got that, let's look into our crafting here. And we want to make the new crafting bench, which I'm going to need uh, fiber and wood. So I've, I know I've got some wood in here, so let's grab that. And I've got some fiber in here as well, which means we can now make the crafting bench. So let's craft that up. Oh, come on. You. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to place it in there. So now this has unlocked a new thing. We can see we can make rope now. We can see this is where we make the stone furnace, the oxidite dissolver, and the anvil. We do have a water skin, so we're going to make that up. And I'm going to equip that onto my hot bar here as well. And let me throw some of this in here. And I've even got some meat here I don't need right now. And I've got some meat I need to cook in, to be honest. So let's throw that in there. And let's throw this wood in there and activate that. And, uh... Yeah, I think we're good. I like to keep going into here and sorting out my inventory. Uh, now that we've got that, I want to quickly go into the uh, inventory here. Oh no, I left the I left the water skin inside the crafting bench, didn't I? Grab that over, put it into my hot boy, and then all I need to do is just activate that, and then drink some water, and it will fill up and have four blue. So the thing about the water skin, uh, the water skin, not skim, uh, it does leak water, so it will eventually drain out over time if I don't use it. So. Um, not until we get the like the, the 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 bottle later on is that's when that's essential. So now that we've got that, let's have a look into the oxidizer. So we need wood, leather, and bone. I've got the bone on me, and I just need more leather and bone. So we've got leather in here, and we've got more wood in there. Quickly make the oxidizer, craft that. Um, that shouldn't take too long. I'm going to need the oxygen bladder as well, so let's make two of them, because uh, I would like to have one on me, and then I would like to have one inside the oxidizer machine at all times recharged, so I can quickly switch them out. So now that we've got them, let's bring them over to our inventory, and then I want to place this down. I'm just going to place this at the side of the door, so it's just kind of where I'm going to be needing it. Um, I don't have any oxides on me. And I don't have any sulfur. So we're going to put the oxygen bladders in here. They go into there and then the uh, oxide goes in there. Then the sulfur comes down here because you can see that's that's what fuel consumption is. Um, so now that we've got that, let's go and get some oxide and some sulfur. What is going on with that? Are you? What's going on with your head, dude? What the hell? Timmy? That could be Timmy. <laughs> that might be them. Well, him. They. Whatever. All right. Oxide. Sulfur. There we go. So that's our fuel source we need for it. And it takes a while to drain as well, so... We don't need anything we got in silica yet, because we're not doing anything with, like, concrete or... Um, I forgot what other machine it's required in. So let's just grab this, get as much as we can, and then grab some oxide. All right, so let's put the oxide in there and the sulfur. And now we can see the oxygen's filling up, so this is now going to slowly fill up. Once it's full, we just need to put that into this slot right here in our oxygen. And we can actually survive a lot longer because well, the oxide will go a lot further, I should say. Um, so I'm just going to wait for this to fill up. And then I can grab it like now and then put that into our inventory here. Just like that. Normally what I do as well, which I'm probably going to do here in a second, is I'm going to wait for this one to fill up. Because my oxygen is now full up because it's just used a massive chunk of our little oxygen bladder here. I'm going to swap this one out for the fresh one, uh, which I'm going to do right now. Uh, so we can go a little bit further. So it's a little tip for you if you if you if you didn't know that or are interested in that. It's a little bit of common sense though, to be honest. Uh, what I'm wanting, to be honest, by the developers, if you if you ever see this or you you need feedback on it, can we please have the ax the 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 option to put our oxygen into a I know a tab here or something instead of dragging this into our inventory to then back out of it to go into our inventory to put it over here? It's a little bit of a pain. Um, so. Please add that. Let's add a little box here, which is our inventory of our oxygen, so we can just quickly drag and swap it from here. It makes no sense to go backward and forward into different machines like that, or different UIs. It's a little bit uh, uh, of a cluster truck, I should say. <laughs> so now that we've got the oxide, I want to look at the stone furnace, which we're going to need stone and we're going to need sticks. I know I've got sticks in here, so we'll grab them, and I know we've got a stockpile of rocks out here, so we'll quickly grab them, and we should be able to make... 
the stone furnace. So if we put that into there, we can now craft the stone furnace. So we can see once we kind of get the basics down, even if like in any survival um, game, you, you can kind of start snowballing. Uh, there's just going to be them points, and the, the, them points in this game is grabbing the iron. That's what takes the longest, and that's what will slow your gameplay down for sure. So I think, where can we put this? Um, should we just, I think I want it in. Um, let's, yeah, let's keep it in this room. Why not? And then in here, we can see that iron ingots make iron, uh, I, sorry, iron ore makes iron ingots, and copper ingots make copper uh, ingots. Sorry, copper, I can't English. Iron ore turns into iron ingots, and copper ore turns into copper ingots. And I've got the hiccups. I've, I'm not going to lie, I've just had a bacon, sausage, and egg sandwich. A little bit of brown sauce, so if you're from the UK, I am sorry if that's just going to fill your hunger right now. Or you, you, you're going to probably make one now. Especially if you're from the UK, especially with brown sauce, HP, gotta have it. But also, Icarus devs have actually released a roadmap now, so Icarus has become well known for producing weekly updates, which we've done every week for over a year. While this has helped to improve the game consistently, add new game modes and, uh, and fresh content, it has led to many players asking for more visibility about what to expect in the future. Here is our development roadmap highlighting the key features and new systems we plan to add to Icarus over the next one to two years. And we can see this is what they're after doing and the, the longer waiting fishing which is already in the game because as we know the fishing rod is right here we just can't access it same with the fishing trap as well and i think it's good that they are tran making the cells transparent but the problem with doing this as well is they now feel like they because they've showed what they want to do they need to meet these requirements so devs just take your time with the game enjoy the development and obviously listen to the feedback and all that kind of stuff you you already know what to do um but they've got Beastery coming out, we've got Achievements, Open World Missions, Biolab Research, Orbital Exchange, The Great Hunt, Workshop Revamp, Damage Rebalance, Orbital Customs, New World Bosses, Cosmetic System, Animal Companions, Sandworm Narrative, Batteries on Networks, which is I'm super curious about because obviously I'm into my factory games and all that kind of stuff, so that's piques my interest. Uh, Parasomonia, I think I said that right, narrative, and pollution system, additional mounts. I'm just wondering if they introduce a pollution system, is it going to be like Factorio? With the amount of pollution we make through the smelters, through all, uh, all that kind of stuff, is it going to attract animals? And if so, that could be kind of cool. But yeah, and also additional mounts, which since I've been playing Icarus this last couple of like month, I've not touched any mounts yet. Right, so now that we've got the smelter, let's store some of the stuff that we don't need. So let's kind of, oh, we've got a storm, is it? Oh, it's on the array, that's fine. Um, let's store some stuff we don't need right here and the fiber. And let's throw our sticks and wood in there. Bada bing, bada bosh. Um, I've got bone over there. Why have I got bone here? Whilst bone's going in there with this stuff. Um, got charcoal over there. Charcoal we'll need for gunpowder, which we'll need to mix with silica later on, and iron to make bullets. Um, but I've let's throw the uh, silica and and rock in there. Why not? I'm still carrying this salt with me. Can I throw the salt in here? I should be able to. It won't cook or do anything in there. We can just use it as in. In, in inventory system. So I've repaired all my items. We can kind of see as well the water skin has already leaked near enough half of the water out of that. And I only did it about 10 minutes ago. Not even that, maybe. Um, so we're going to have to fill that back up. We have got a storm coming. Uh, we should be able to make it to a cave, I think. It's not going to be too much damaging, you know? Uh, and let's grab some food as well for the little journey we're about to make. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there might be a cave in this water here. So let's have a quick look and have a quick dive. Um... I can't find my way out. It's over here. <laughs> Getting lost at my own house. I think there might be a cave in this river somewhere. It's just a matter of fighting. Maybe it's near that. Maybe that's a little point of interest. I've been told about it on the live stream, but I don't know which where it is inside here. I might go to for a little dip, but I'm worried... I'm going to get bit by a piranha. It's going to poison me. Okay, I'm not going to risk it by hanging around and swimming through all this water by taking too much damage. But I do know there is a cave up here, um, just at the bottom of this first cliff, which is super, super close. Oh, there's a pumpkin right there. Let's grab that. I can hear trees cracking. Oh, be extremely be careful. Extremely be careful. Extreme English is not my best suit. You wouldn't believe I'm English, would you? I'm from the United Kingdom. I, I, I know English. I'd have say it in a funny accent, you know? I'm about to be exposed to this storm. Hopefully we should be fine. Maybe. There's a cave somewhere along this little ridge. I think it's more up this way. Oh, we're taking exposure now. So we are going to take a little bit of damage. But I think we'll be fine. I think this is the entrance right here. 
starting to look like a little bit of a rock formation. There's some salt right there. Come on, we can squeeze our way in here. Come, 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 come. There's a deer right there. I think that's the one that might have run past us. Yeah, it is. This is a cave. We just need to mine our way through it. So you can kind of tell which is a cave. It's got like these big like, arches kind of thing. We just need to mine our way through. Have I got enough arrows? I've got 40. I'm using stone arrows, aren't I? I didn't realize. I thought I was using bone arrows. Oh, come on, we're almost there. I can see the opposite side. So to keep breaking our way through. I'm still getting exposure. Try and get some cover inside of here at least. Come on. My big head's still in the way. My exposure's going down now at least. I'm inside the cave. Oh, come on. I've come in. This is so awkward. I'm stuck now. I'm actually stuck. Bitch, you bloody spoon. Move. These rocks out the way. There we go. Why did I make, like, this kind of hole? Why don't I just make a pathway, Bitsy? Instead of making a little hovel you can get into. Oh, we can already see some ore and some cave and some good, good stuff. I'm just going to watch out for getting new more in here because it's kind of lethal. All right, that should be better. At least I can get in and out now. All right, let's get the ball ready because where are they? They're here somewhere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. Go to sleep. There's more of you as I know there is. Come on. Come out to play. Come to daddy. Come on. Up here, maybe. Hello? Was it just the one? I suppose it is like a tier one cave, right? It is... It is a pretty small cave, but there it is. What we came in. What we come for. Iron. Now let's start grabbing this so we can start making some iron tools. Oh, I've got pneumonia now, so my stamina boy is so small. I definitely need to get some better clothing and some potions or something. Or do some herbalism, I should say, to help me out in here. So I want to do this bit by bit. And then we can get out of here. Okay, I'm slowly making my way out, but I can't grab the platinum because I need a better axe. Uh, I can grab the copper, but I don't want to right now because I technically, for me to get these back out, for them to respawn, I need the thumper. And the thumper's not until tier four. And if we look at tier four over here, the big old thumper machine is right there. And what this does is you put it down and it gives you like an area of effect. And when you activate it, you have to defend yourself from creatures. And when I mean creatures, I mean one of them worms that showed up here, but it also has a an uncle and an auntie, but it also has a mother. Um, so we don't need to do anything with thumpers just yet, but for me to respawn these ores, um, I might as well um, wait down the line to them. There's no rush for me to grab these. I might as well... Gr I thought something was at the door then. I might as well grab it when I need to. Um, so let's kind of head our way out of here. Um, it's going to be a long... I won't say they're long, but it's going to be a slow trek back. Because obviously I'm over encumbered. Because uh, I've got... How much iron have I got on me right now? I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Near enough like 5.2 stacks. So let's kind of go on and head back home and throw these into the smelter. What doesn't help is I'm still going back and I'm trying to sprint, but I've still got pneumonia. Oh my god, this is when the fire was here. Oh boy. Look at this. This is all just charcoal. The wildlife, the bushes are all gone. Everything has been demolished. Like, even if I was to break this down, this tree would just explode into bloody charcoal. Anyway, let's just head back home. It's getting, it's going to be nighttime soon anyway, so. Hello. It's just a deer. All right, we're nearly here. Well, I am here, to be honest. Let's get inside. Let's throw this stuff in here. Can move around a bit more now. And let's grab some stack of wood. Throw that in there. Get that cooking. And start making some iron ingots finally and then we can start they'll obviously turn i think how much is it per one i think it's for every okay so for every two iron we're gonna get one iron ingot okay cool so now though it's just a matter of a waiting game now um what can we do in the meantime well what should i do and then you guys get to see a a skip of something so i just need to figure out what i'm gonna do to be honest, sleeping right now will be a good one. And then I think my plan is going to be just to grab more stone and uh, just kind of level up that way. Because, like, my inventory right now, we've got some good food. Let's consume that. Let's grab some water. There's no point in me using my water skin whilst I'm right next to it, right? How's our uh, iron getting along? I don't think it's going to be that much. Nine. Not even that much. So for now, I'm going to go and grab more stone and then you guys will see me once I've got some more. I'm going to level up. <laughs> just by killing that wolf that tried to sneak up on me. Where is it? How? Oh, I was going to say the arrow must have just kind of quickly picked this guy up. I can't even see where I'm doing with him. 
throw him down and get some tasty, tasty meat. Yum, 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 yum. Give me your bones, buddy. Conifer wolf carcass. All right, back at it. I yo, I yo. It's off to work we go with a bucket and a spade and a hand grenade. Hi yo, hi yo, hi yo. Oh, God, I'm out of stamina again. All right, how are we doing for iron? 36 pieces. It's close enough to make the anvil. Um, How much do I need for the anvil? 40, yeah. 40, I just need some wood. Let's grab some wood, and then we should have enough in here. And I'll, I'll just need to wait for literally one more piece after this one, and we should be good. And there we go. Let's grab them, and let's make the anvil. So if we put this down, this is a pretty decent... Uh, I like how they've got, like... We don't need to make the uh, pickaxe and stuff in here. We've actually got an anvil as well. It's just like that extra step. Um, so let's drag this over to our inventory and then let's put this down. I guess I got to put this down next to the smelter. And it's kind of put that like, kind of like here. And if we access this, we can see that we can make the iron axe now and all that kind of stuff. I just need six iron ingots and two iron nails for that. And so we basically we need, say, 15 ingots because I do need to break them down into nails. And to make make nails, I need iron ingots. And we can see we've got copper ingots and iron nails and uh, copper ingots. So sorry, copy, copper nails and copper... Uh, so, blah, blah, blah. Iron nails and copper nails. <laughs> Where's my water? Jesus. Right, let's pull out the iron ingots. Let's put three ingots to work there. So we can start making, what, 30 iron nails. It's not bad for now. And then we should be left with six ingots here, which means I can then make my pickaxe. So let's kind of do that. The nails are actually for the, the, the iron axe, but how many more? We've got we're about to get three, so at least we've got the pickaxe now. We can swap that out down there. We don't actually need this anymore. I'm just going to destroy that. We'll get some items back for it. Quickly do a quick sort of my inventory. And then the iron ingots are done. Throw them onto there and make the iron axe. And we can see the iron axe down there is going to give us 27 to 37 melee damage plus 25%, well, 25 felling damage, 100% yield from falling trees. And then if we get the iron one, we can see that's going to give us plus 50 fire felling damage and 125% yield from trees. So a little bit more damage there. So let's quickly swap that out for our old one and then we'll demolish that one. We don't need that anymore. Um, and then we should be good. We could just leave this to do his do our thing and i just need to grab more items but to be honest i think i'm more than likely do that off camera and we're gonna actually end this video right here so i have got like my iron tools and everything now and next time i want to start kind of work towards level 15 so we can start upgrading this house and start making it into stone so thank you so much for watching guys and check out my other content right here and as always if you've enjoyed it remember to like subscribe and also leave a comment and i'll see you in another video so as always keep smiling and i'll see you then